What's happening, everybody? Welcome to a very special edition of the Games and Grabs podcast. My name is Sonny G, and I'm here with Finn Steele. Hello. And Steve. Hello. And this is a podcast not like our usual show. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a very special WrestleMania edition of The Eliminator. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Right on cue there, Finn. For the first time, <laughs> I think, since we've had that soundbite. Yes, nailed it. Because oh. it's, it's at the start, I didn't have time to forget, so it's all good. That's because you didn't have time to forget. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So this is... So usually with the Eliminator, we have five lives. Uh, once you've lost the five lives, you've lost. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, but this is going to be a little bit different. So we're going to have 15 questions, all WrestleMania related. And the one with the most answers correct at the end will win. Yes. Simple. So it's a, a little bit different, but it still counts towards the regular podcast Eliminator score. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, if you've been listening, which I'm sure you have, why would you not have been? Yeah, of course. Um, it's me versus Finn, and Finn is currently 2-0 up. He is the guest master. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I am the master of pure luck. Yeah. <laughs> no knowledge, just luck. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Told you. Start doing the lottery, man. Yeah, we should. Yeah. yeah. Definitely start doing the lottery. Like You could be a millionaire, and you could build us an actual studio to do this in. Yeah, yeah, good idea. Yeah. That would be amazing. It would actually be awesome. Yeah, it would yeah. be good. But like, pay ourselves to do the podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just pay ourselves out, popular. Let's pretend. Out of uh, out of Finn's re- um, lottery winnings. Yeah. Because he's, be like, he's guessed every single number and the bonus ball correct. <laughs> <laughs> be like Cameron Grimes that's throwing money around. Yeah, that'd be amazing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll turn up at like Finn's house when he wins the lottery and he'll put like stacks of Twenty pound notes down down the front of our pants. <laughs> yeah. is, what again? Is... Again, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we won't even have to do a dance this time. No, no. We'll keep our clothes on this time as well. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's win win I mean, situation for everybody involved. I mean, if you Everyone. want, you can. You know, if you want to strip off, I know I'm not going to stop you. <laughs> well, we'll see how we feel. We might be in such a celebratory mood that you've won the yeah. lottery and we're going to be rich forever that um, you know we might just never wear clothes again. Yeah. Good point. Also. Weather dependent, obviously, if it's cold, don't want to take my clothes off for obvious reasons. Yeah, a bit of shrinkage. Maybe. Yeah, don't want erect nipples all the time. Yeah, correct. That's true, yeah. Yeah. What were you mm. thinking of, Finn? Dirty yeah, boy. Finn. Uh, it's a bit of a bit of shrinkage going on, maybe. <laughs> 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 right. <laughs> <laughs> on that note. Steve is the quiz master. As he has been for the last couple of rounds between Finn and myself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are you ready with your questions? I am ready. Are Finn, you guys are you re- ready? I'm ready. I'm ready with my, my pen and paper. That's it. It's a real professional paper. setup here, like just ripped out of Kay's work notebook. <laughs> <laughs> I can't Finn? use a proper because I'm because I'm left handed, I can't use a proper like writing book. I have to write upside down. Left handed. So I yeah, I have to turn the book upside down because otherwise my left hand just like brushes the, the yeah. binding thing. <laughs> yeah. uh, it just gets right, in the yeah. way. So um, because I don't want to go to Ned Flanders' left-handed store because <laughs> it's closed at the minute due to not being essential, um, <laughs> I just have to rip paper out and do it that way. Fair play, fair <laughs> play. Yeah. <laughs> right. Good reference. Yeah, good. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Uh, right then, we're good. Yes. We are good. Let's do okay. this. Contenders ready. <laughs> Gladiators, ready! <laughs> 90s, TV, 90s TV shows coming back. That's yeah. it. <laughs> sure, sure on the men anyway. Stephen, you go on my first whistle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what a show. What a great show. Quality show. I can't believe Go- Nick Aldis was in the, re- in the reboot of that. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm. Joe, awesome. I'm, I'm really gutted that uh, I never actually, considering that it was filmed at the NEC or the yeah. NIA, NEC, I think it was the NEC. Yeah, it was the That's NEC, like, yeah. It's like awesome. not that far down the road. Yeah, no, it's no. like literally like 20 it's minutes away. 20, really, 30 minutes down the motorway. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah, could have gone. Maybe they'll bring it back one day. We'll be the hosts. Yeah, there we go. Ahuga! <laughs> 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 oh, man. 
Sonny, you could be Ulrika Johnson. That's all right, yeah. I don't mind. I'll wear like a you know, bra and stuff. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Female clothes. That's, that's, that's just a bra. That's you it, just a bra, yeah. <laughs> well, it was the 90s, so you could get away with wearing less then. Yeah, True. yeah, definitely. Oh, we'll yeah, car, definitely. car, 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 car. No, oh, no. yeah, good. Good shooting oh, stars. Oh, shooting yeah. stars. <laughs> Bring them all back. Good stuff. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, excellent. Right, let's actually let's actually do this. <laughs> let's do this. Because otherwise go. we're going to be waffling for <laughs> this entire time. People are like, get to the Eliminator, guys. But yes. we all secretly know they're here for the stupidity. Mm, sure. <laughs> let's all do right. this. Come on, then. Let's do it. Right, Em. Are you ready? Both ready? Yes. Yeah. Let's do this. Question number one. Open-ended, nice, easy one. What year was the first WrestleMania? You say easy. That's really easy. Bum, 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 bum. Still going to do the time limit and reveal your answers, of course, so we can keep track as we're going. Yep. Pens down, please. I'll go to you first, Sonny. What have you got? Uh, 1984. I believe WrestleMania is the same age as me. Finn Steele. My guesswork, not on, not on point yet. I'm in 1987. My God, you're both wrong. It's oh. 1985. Oh, really? The 31st of March, 1985. Oh, I thought it was in 1984. Because oh. I'm 37 this year, and so is WrestleMania. No, but that, right. So this is where they've gone wrong. So there's not. It's it's 36 years old, WrestleMania, because right. they started at one, didn't they? When you're born, you don't start at one, uh, do you? That's a good start point. at naught. Ah. So when they did the 25th anniversary, that was wrong. It was the 25th WrestleMania, but it was actually its 24th year. If you you know if you if you count it the same as like birthdays, and stuff. right. Fair enough. Okay, there we go. So there we go. So yeah, d- don't ever, don't get confused by WWE's stupid logic. Anyway, <laughs> both wrong, but right, well, no, no lives lost because that's not the aim of the game this time. Correct. Right. Well, well, we'll still have the uh, the wrong noise though. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. I did already play it, but you didn't. Weren't paying attention. Oh really? I'm okay. <laughs> yeah. Right, sorry. I think I think when we both talk at the same time, it gets cut off a bit. So, oh uh, okay. Yeah, it'll be in the recording probably. <laughs> Even though it's anymore. 30, 31st of March, 1985. So, mm. Right, okay. Did you not watch it, Watch it, Sonny? You were probably about six months old at that point. <laughs> uh, um, no, my, my mum and dad wouldn't buy it on pay-per-view. I was fuming. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, I wasn't born, so uh, I was... Uh, yeah, same. I was, uh, yeah, so there we go. Right, question number two. <laughs> God, I'm old. <laughs> yeah, we're all old. Yeah, we're all old. <laughs> this is multiple choice, you'll be glad to hear. Thank you. Who God. said... <laughs> Woodstock was to rock and roll what WrestleMania is to wrestling. Was it A. Jesse Ventura, B. Gorilla Monsoon, C. Vince McMahon, or D. Mr. T? Read the answers again. A. Jesse Ventura, B. Gorilla Monsoon, C. Vince McMahon, D. Mr. T. Okay. Pens down. Sunny Garner. Um, I went for Jesse the Body Ventura. Okay. One of my favourite all-time commentators. Loved him. As in the heel role. So good. Very good. Finn, what have you gone for? Um, I recognise the quote. I'm not sure he said it though. Um, I went for Gorilla Monsoon. The correct answer is A. Jesse Ventura. Oh, what well I've dropped the pen. Where's it gone? Oh. I'll trust you two to keep count. Yeah, I've got. Uh, I'm ticking and crossing as I go along. Good stuff. Yeah, Jesse Ventura was uh, supposed supposedly said that quote. Yeah, it sounds mm. like something he would say. I like again, again, like I like I've said in the last two rounds. If these turn out to be wrong, don't blame me. <laughs> blame the internet. Yes. Right. Move on to question number three. Which WrestleMania did Hulk Hogan face Andre the Giant in the main event? WrestleMania 2, 3, 4, or 5? Pens down. Sunny Garner. WrestleMania 3. Finn Steele. 
I also went for WrestleMania 3. You are both correct. It was mm. WrestleMania 3. Finn, like, you if, you, if you don't know that and you're a wrestling fan, you get the fuck out of here. That's what that is. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, they faced each other at WrestleMania 4, but not in the main event. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So, I make that 2-1 to Sonny. Yeah. But, all to play for. All to play for. Yes. Okay. Hopefully this question makes sense. If not, I will try and rephrase it. Question number four. Open-ended. The main event of WrestleMania 19 between Brock Lesnar and Kurt Angle was the first WrestleMania main event to feature what? give you a bit longer for that one because it is a tough one okay five more seconds <laughs> I've guessed I mean I have no yeah. idea same I don't remember pens down Sonny um, my answer was an Olympic gold medalist because oh, I, I literally couldn't think of anything else that's a good good point <laughs> Which it probably was. Te- te- it probably correct, was, yeah. but it's not, it's not the answer I've got. <laughs> <laughs> so you could be technically right, and someone will probably go, yeah, he's right, but... It's fine. Uh, it's not the answer I've got. Finn, what are you uh, going for? I remember, not, I remember that match being really good, but I don't remember anything else about it. Uh, so I went for a steel cage match, maybe? No. So oh. it is credited <laughs> as being... So mm. you were both incorrect. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it's credited with being the first WrestleMania main event where both wrestlers use their real names. Oh. Jeez. Wow. Okay. Wow. But Sonny, you're probably right. It probably is the best match yeah, also, with an Olympic gold medalist. So. That is also correct. Um, yeah. But yes, it's. Uh, yeah, that was the match where, where Brock did the shooting star, but yeah, landed nearly, on his oh, died. head. Yeah, that's yeah. the one. I remember that. <laughs> yeah, nearly died. Yep. Yep. Okay, tough question, that. Tough question. But, uh, you know, one for there the aren't future, many, a bit of knowledge with, for you there. With, with your answer there, there aren't many WrestleManias that have a steel cage match. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like some sort of mm. stipulation, maybe. But mm. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay. So, still remains 2-1 to Sonny. Question number five. Excluding WrestleMania 36, which had no fans... And combining the attendances of the three venues used for WrestleMania 2, which WrestleMania has the lowest claimed attendance? So does that make sense? Yes. So WrestleMania had no fans, forget that. WrestleMania 36 had no fans, forget that. And if you add the three um, venues that they use for WrestleMania 2, that's out of the equation as well. So out of WrestleMania 7, 8, 9 or 10, which one is the lowest attendance? And this is lowest of all time, but they, they're your multiple choice answers. Okay. Jesus. Okay. Pens down. Sonny, what have you gone for? Uh, WrestleMania 9. Okay. Finn? I'm for 7. WrestleMania 7. The correct answer is WrestleMania 7. Hey. One, Guess Master twice again. Have you, got, have you got have you got figures there for attendance? Because that's that's mental. Because WrestleMania Nine's at Caesar's Palace, like a like an outdoor. Yeah. So there's not. A, uh, if I remember rightly, there's not a lot in it. Um, believe that WrestleMania Seven had just over sixteen thousand, like sixteen thousand one hundred and something. Okay. Uh, WrestleMania Nine wasn't far behind. I think that was like um, sixteen thousand. Um, 16,500 or something. Yeah, the reason I went for nine is because when you when you see it, like, well, when like you it see looks, it, yeah. it looks like yeah. there's not really that many there, but that's because of the setup. And um, yeah, it's uh, it's a weird WrestleMania, that one. But I didn't realise, because seven is in a, just like a normal arena. Yeah, so mm. the list is officially, but I said excluding 36, because obviously it had no fans. Mm. So then it's WrestleMania seven, attendance 16,158. WrestleMania 11, 16,305. WrestleMania 2, uh, but then 
yeah, you got to combine all of them. And then WrestleMania 9, 16,891. Hmm. Right. The okay. thing with that with, with that as well with WrestleMania 7 is the year before, it was in front of about 60, 60-odd thousand. Wow. Yeah, it was the, the, uh, the, the Toronto year, Skydome, yeah. Yeah, and then the following year, 16,000. Hmm. Yeah, because when you look at the footage from WrestleMania 6, like it's Ho- in Hogan versus Warrior, it looks like there's 40 million people there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand like why like in old footage it just looks like they've cracked. Like when they're like 80,000 people at Wembley for SummerSlam 92, it's like, no, no, no. There's 68 million people in there. <laughs> yeah. It's a bit, we always used to say this about Raw, didn't we, back in the day? Yeah. You know, when it used, Raw used to start and you'd have the crowd going mad and Jim Ross would go, 12,000 here yeah, packed in at the. <laughs> Bumfuck Nowhere Arena. And like, <laughs> that looks like there's about 50,000 people there. And he's saying that yeah. the attendance is 12,000. It was, uh, it's crazy. Yeah, they're really nice yeah. to cram it in. And, you know, using the uh, using the good, you know, the, the right camera angles as well. That's a, a good trick that they use. Mm. Of course, yeah. This is good. I'm learning stuff here. This is, this is just quite interesting. As well as sort of getting answers Educational. wrong, yeah. I'm learning stuff about... WrestleMania, because I remember WrestleMania 2 is across uh, multiple locations, isn't it? That's yeah, it's why, across three. Yeah. Then if you combine the three together, it comes to like 50-odd thousand. But one of those one of those shows, WrestleMania 2, was 16,000 on its own. Right. So, yes, good stuff. Well done, Finn. Good, good, uh, good guess. <laughs> Thank you. So I'll make that to all. Yes, indeed. <clears throat> yeah. Question number six. Who is credited with coming up with the name WrestleMania? Is it Mean Gene, Hulk Hogan, Howard Finkel, or Bobby Heenan? Uh, Pens down. Sonny Garner. Uh, Howard Finkel. Finn? I'm for uh, Heenan. Confidence on Sonny's face has paid off. Ah. It was Howard Finkel. Damn. Get I it. knew it before you actually said the answers. Uh, yes. I just, I just, uh, it was just one of them things. I don't know why I know, but <laughs> you just know. You know what I mean? It was going to be called something else, and I can't remember, but it was something really rubbish. <laughs> Probably Great Balls of Fire. No, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was going to be something. Uh, really, really bad that probably just wouldn't have took off. Um, but yeah, credit to uh, Howard Finkel there coming up for that. Coming up mm. with that. To... So I'm just quickly looking now. What was it going to be called? That's it. Originally, McMahon was going to call it the Colossal Tussle. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. According to Ring and as Howard Finkel, it was Finkel himself that came up with the name WrestleMania based on a pop culture phenomenon. In the 1960s. Mm. Right, there, there we, go. we go. Welcome to Colossal Tussle 36. It oh sounds God. awful, doesn't it? <laughs> so bad. <laughs> I'm buzzing for Colossal Tussle, can't wait. <laughs> got the week off and everything. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you say, oh, why have you got the week off? Oh, it's Colossal Tussle. What? <laughs> you do what now? Yeah, yeah <laughs> you, you, you probably deserve to get beat up. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But now it's like, oh yeah, I've got the week off for WrestleMania. Just, oh, you nerd. Yeah, but it's WrestleMania. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Right. So I think that makes it three two to yourself, Sonny. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Grumble. I'm enjoying this. <laughs> it's, 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 uh, it's, this is a good one. Mm. It's good. 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 Question good. number seven. Which current AEW wrestler has the record of the most consecutive losses at WrestleMania? Is it Gold Dust, Christian, The Big Show, or Chris Jericho? Oh, one of those. So he lost ten in a row. That's Ooh. a bit of a bit of a clue. What's that? Pens down. Sonny, what have you got? I'm not, I'm not sure about this one. It was one of one of two for me, but Big Show. Okay. Finn Steele. Well, it's the Big Show. It's a poor life. <laughs> the correct answer, according to the World Wide Web, is Gold Dust. Oh, that was my other one. You are both. <clears throat> Chris- Christian was going to be the other one for me, but I don't even know why. Yeah. 
I wish you never. I watched a WrestleMania recently where Goldust did lose. Actually, WrestleMania. Oh no, that was Royal Rumble. Royal Rumble '98 lost to Vader. So I'm yeah, talking shit. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, apparently lost ten, ten in a row at Mania. Ouch. Solid record that. Good record. Good record. Mm. Speaking of records, question number eight. And this will, uh, yeah. Hopefully this one is one that you remember for all the wrong reasons. Who ended Oscar's 914-day undefeated streak at WrestleMania 34? Was it Becky Lynch, Paige, Charlotte Flair, or Nikki Bella? Pretty sure I'm dead as well. Pens down. Sonny Garner. Charlotte Flair. Finn? Yep. Charlotte Flair. Well, of course. The correct answer is LOL Charlotte Flair. LOL Charlotte wins. Such a bullshit match that was. Like, mm. Oscar should have won. I mean, yep. she just yeah. won the Raw Rumble. She had this amazing streak in NXT, and then she comes up uh, to WrestleMania and just fucking loses to Charlotte. And she gets flared. Yep, you got flared. You got flared, <laughs> Bard, yeah. Uh, good times. Good times. <laughs> Great time, Chad. <Jen. laughs> Wonderful. Okay, so you're both correct there. I make that 4 3 to yourself, Sonny. Mm-hmm. So, very close. Still very close. Mm. That's really close, yeah. And there is a sudden death question, should we need it? Ooh. But, question number nine. What is The Undertaker's win-loss record at WrestleMania? I'll go multiple choice. Is it 23 and 2, 24 and 2, 25 and 2, or 26 and 2? Wow. I've been here, Paul Heyman, in my head. I <laughs> think Brock is the one in, in, in one. I can't remember what the number was. Okay. What the joystick again? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. What the joystick? 23 and 2, 24 and 2, 25 and 2, 26 and 2. Uh, let's go for that. Pens down. Sonny. 23 and 2. Okay. So proves the proof that. Finn Steele. Oh, uh, yeah, I went with 23 and 2 as well. The correct answer. And his victory against AJ Styles last year made it 25 and 2. 25? And really? Uh, both Jeez. Are correct. Yeah. Wow. Really? Yeah. Wow, okay. Yeah. Which one? Wow, I was certain it was 23. So. Yeah. Wasn't it 21 and 1 with Brock? 21 and 1 with Brock. Mm. And then since then, he. And then he lost to Reigns, so that's 21 and 2. And then he beat Bray. He beat Cena. He beat AJ, and I'm sure it's someone else. Let me just double check. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I don't remember. But he lost. So yeah, so he lost to Reigns. He lost to Reigns and Brock. There is Brock. there is two. There is two. Hmm. I was super confident there as well. I thought it was 23. Yeah, it's I don't here. even know why I thought it was 23, but yeah. time flies, I guess. It and does. Undertaker matches just pass you by, apparently. <laughs> I'm positive it's... I'm doubting myself now. <laughs> Might have to do a bit of editing. <laughs> <laughs> Might have to take the question out. Nah. No, nah, I'm pretty sure it's that. Yeah, I think you, pro you are probably right. Why can't I now find uh, it? Yeah, you're right. 25 and 2. Yeah. 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 Wow. Okay. Cool. And that's how it will finish. Yes. Or with it. Yep. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> you probably get to AEW I mean, now. It's got it. <laughs> yeah, he can't. Oh, he's, he's, done. he's done. He's done. Yeah, he's 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 done. He's done. Cool. Okay. I shouldn't doubt myself. I should be more confident with my well-researched answers. That's <laughs> it. Yeah. Okay. So both incorrect. Like you say, the time does just pass you by, doesn't it? You know, you don't oh, realize does, yeah. how quickly these WrestleManias go by and and who they, you know, it's like six years since. Six years since Seth cashed in in that wow. match. Yeah. Where, where's that time gone? Unbelievable. Yeah, I know. That's Crazy. Amazing moment as well. Yeah. Yeah. Luckily, that's not one of the questions or sort of just giving away the answer. <laughs> um, right. Question number 10. Which wrestler defeated Eric Rowan at WrestleMania 32 in six seconds? 
was it The Rock, Triple H, Big Show or Kurt Angle? Pens down. Um, Sunny. The Rock. Finn Steele. Oh yes, I've gone for The Rock. Or The Rook, it looks like I've been there. The Rook. <laughs> the Rook. <laughs> The correct answer is Maui himself, The Rock. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Dwayne. Yeah, that, was that the one where he conveniently had his wrestling gear under his... Uh... Yeah, he came out, set that massive The Rock thing on, on fire. Oh, yeah. You yeah. know, milked it, and then, yeah, conveniently had uh, had wrestling boots on and uh, <laughs> and bracks on under his trousers. Yeah. Did he do it rock on? Yeah, it was. It was a rock bottom. One, two, three. Yeah. Poor Eric. Poor Eric Rowan. <laughs> oh, I know. Poor guy. Oh, dearie me. Right. So you're both correct there. Good stuff. Five, mm. four. Question number 11. Despite the nickname of Mr. WrestleMania, Shawn Michaels has lost more matches than he has won at WrestleMania shows. How many matches has he lost? Is it 8, 9, 10, or 11? Pens down. Sunny. Pure guess, but I've gone for 9. Okay. It is there. <laughs> Sunny. Uh, no, fifth. <laughs> I've asked you. I went for 8. 8. The correct answer is D, 11. Oh, wow. He has a win-loss record of 6 and 11 at WrestleMania. Wow. What a shit record. <laughs> it is a shit record for someone whose nickname is Mr. WrestleMania. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Undertaker is clearly Mr. WrestleMania. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 25 and 2. Yeah, yeah. you would have thought so. Mm. Right. Yeah, that was a pure guess. I had no idea, to be honest. I'm, 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 nah, I'm, I'm I was th- trying to think back because obviously uh, Michael's fought at WrestleMania in the Rockers as well, so I was trying to Good take point. that into mm. consideration. Yeah. Good point. I didn't yeah. think of that. Well, I didn't think he, I didn't. I didn't think he lost that many. Yeah, I went towards mm. the low end because I yeah I didn't think it'd be that much, but sure, I know. <laughs> <laughs> True, any of us know. Yeah. Tough one. Tough question. Yeah. I wouldn't have known that. I'd have gone with the lowest number. It makes sense, doesn't it? It's Shawn Michaels. Yeah. Yeah. So, cool. Okay. Question number 12. Along with Brett versus Austin at WrestleMania 13, which is the only other WrestleMania match to have been given five stars by Dave Meltzer? Meltzer to Meltzer. Is it Michaels versus Taker, WrestleMania 25? Is it Reigns, Brock, Seth, WrestleMania 31? Is it Michaels versus Razor Ramon, WrestleMania 10? Or is it Hogan Warrior, WrestleMania 5? Damn, you didn't say that one I was thinking of. Hogan Warrior is WrestleMania 6. Uh, uh. What's the first two again, sorry? Michaels Taker, WrestleMania 25. Or Reigns, Brock, Seth, WrestleMania 31. So only two matches have been given five star, stars by Uncle Dave. Brett Austin at 13 is one of them. Which one is the other? Pens down. Sonny, what have you gone for? I've gone for A. Um, Shawn Michaels versus Undertaker at WrestleMania 25. Okay. Finn. That's also what I'm in for, Michael Staker. Now, you would think it was that because it's probably the best WrestleMania match ever. Mm. But not according to Uncle Dave, who gave Michaels versus Razor Ramon at WrestleMania 10 five stars. Oh. And then only Random. two WrestleMania matches that he has That's given a great that match. That is a, re- that is a, a really match. good match. Yeah, yeah. But it's not as good as Taker versus Michaels at 25. No, yeah. no, no. way. The one I was thinking of was uh, Michaels versus um, Eric Flair. Yeah, yeah, mm. the retirement match. Yeah. Was that a swerve, by the way? That last answer, uh, Warrior yes. versus yeah. Hogan. Okay. Yeah. Can't mug me up. I'm still. I knew you correct me. Yeah. yeah. I knew you correct me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still proper bitter about the fact that Warrior won because I was a Hogan mark. 
As a like a little six year old me, I was a Hogan mark fuming. <laughs> <laughs> Great match though. Unbelievable match. Yeah. Yeah. It is a really good match. Okay. Question number thirteen. Still all to play for. Mm. With three questions left. Who's main evented WrestleMania the most? Is it Hogan, Triple H, Michaels, or Austin? Five seconds. Pens down. Sonny, what have you gone for? Um, I went for I went for D. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Okay. Finn. I went for Hunter Hearst Helmsley himself. Where's he gone? There he is. He's been around a long, long time. The correct back. answer is A. Hulk Hogan, brother, brother. Really? Wow. Brother. He's main evented eight, eight. times. Wow. The first eight. Pretty much. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. What was second? Uh. Let me have a quick look. I did know. Because oh, Austin can't be far behind that because it. Don't 14, think 14, 15, 17. 17. Oh, you know what? Yeah, Hogan. Yeah. First so, eight. It goes, this is as of October last year. Hogan, eight appearances in the main event. Triple H, seven appearances. Ah, John Cena, nice. five. The Rock, five. Shawn Michaels, five. Undertaker, four. Um, so Austin's probably not. He ain't going to be far behind that, is he? Neither's Reigns. At no. this rate. Yeah. Orton is Orton is a, is tenth with two appearances in the main event. Uh this website's really crap and won't load. Re- yeah, Reigns is seventh. Stone Cold is eight, three appearances. Because Reigns will equal Hogan's record this year then, won't really, he? Because that's no, clearly Re- going on last tomorrow. Re- Reigns only got four. So he's still- seven. He's seven. No. No, Triple H has got seven. Oh, he's seventh. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, he's seventh. Yeah, he's seventh. So four appearances, Roman Reigns. Four appearances, The Undertaker. So he'll overtake The Undertaker uh, wow. on Sunday. Uh, Michaels with five. Uh, so he'll equal Michaels. Uh, the Rock with five. Cena with five. Triple H with seven. Hulk Hogan with eight. I think with Triple H, a lot of some, you know, a lot of his more recent matches aren't main events. They were sort of um, like yeah. second half of the show. Well, when it goes dark, so he goes entrance. But yeah, and obviously like Sting, Sting Triple H, that wasn't main event. Uh, yeah, Batista a couple of years ago, that wasn't main event. Yeah, either, Undertaker, so. Undertaker versus Triple H at Shawn Michaels, that wasn't. No, good match though. That was really good. Mm. Mm, okay, this is interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying this. This is great. Yeah. Cool. So, what are we on? Just as a reminder, how many? What? What? How many have you got, right, Sonny? Uh, five. Yeah. Question mark. How many, how many are you on, Finn? Uh, four. So it's by four. Four, One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay. So we have two questions remaining. Ooh. Okay. Question number fourteen. To date, which is the only WrestleMania? to have broken the 100,000 in attendance barrier? Is it 29, 30, 31, or 32? Mm. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. So which is the only WrestleMania to have had over 100,000 in attendance? Allegedly. Yeah, 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 allegedly. yeah, I'll come on to that. I'll come <laughs> on to that. Pens down, pens down. Sonny, what have you gone for? Honestly, not 100% sure, so I've gone for 30. Damn. Okay. Finn? I also went for 30. It's not damn, there's still a chance. Yeah. The correct answer is 32. Oh, no. <clears throat> How random. So it's allegedly... Had There's no like, way there was over a hundred thousand there. <laughs> so I, <laughs> I read something that's uh, been been kind of like verified or whatever. That says verified. WWE WWE were were desperate to break the hundred thousand barrier for this show. Not sure why, um, but they were desperate for it. And I think the stadium itself, because they've obviously they've got the counters on the turnstile and stuff. 
and they made it something in the region of kind of like 90 odd thousand but what wwe did is they they wwe'd it of course <laughs> and what they also counted in the production team <laughs> the wrestlers the stewards the people selling hot dogs and beers, <laughs> uh, the people outside that were helping people find the turnstile, they counted everything and everyone that was there and it pushed it over 100,000. But it has the world's biggest asterisk next to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, as it should do. I, I don't know why they're so desperate to break these sort of records. I mean, no, yeah, it's, it's, strange. Cool, it's a cool thing to have that your event was the most attended ever or whatever, but... You know, yeah, ninety thousand plus actually ticketed really isn't anything to sniff at, is it? Oh, it's ridiculous. That that is, you know, for a for a wrestling show, you know, yeah. you know that, that's that's incredible. So why do? But they do this, don't they? WWE. It's like when they, you know, when they flash up uh, stats to say WWE have more uh, followers on yeah Twitter than the NBA, NFL, and MLB combined. Yeah, yeah. What WWE do is they count all of the followers that the that the wrestlers have got as well. <laughs> yeah, they add them all together and go, "They're ours." Come on, yeah. Because if you look, because at... we own these independent contractors. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> if you look at right, I was going to find the example of that here actually. So WWE has eleven point two million followers on Twitter. Mm. The NBA and has thirty two point nine million. Yeah. But WWE will claim they've got more because they will add all of well all the all the wrestlers on the roster, every single Twitter that, account that they've yeah, got. They've got or, they've got uh, accounts in different languages, like NXT, yeah. uh SmackDown they'll has count, its own, Raw has its them. own. Yeah, yeah. BT yeah. Sport yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah they will do, Pretty yeah. Well WWE on Fox. Yeah. WWE Shop. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> they will, they'll count all of that. And so, a lot yeah. of those followers will be the same people because i put on joy follow bt sport and box and wwe <laughs> so it's like three well, yeah, from I, me. I follow them on I, I follow different ones on facebook and every time they go live i get about 15 notifications <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> finn balor is live drew mcintyre is live all oh, right okay like that is it <laughs> Every, everybody's live at the same time yeah yeah, yeah. It's, uh... <laughs> yeah so there we go 32 is 32 the one where hogan said the wrong the, the wrong stadium name. Yes, I think so. Oh, yeah. Is it the yes, yeah, it was. He called it the Pontiac Dome or something, and it was the. Same uh, I think he. I, don't know. Uh, the, like I think he, did he call it the Sky Dome, or was that is that where it was? Was that at the Sky Dome, and it was he said Silver Dome, uh, yeah. something like something that. Like yeah, that for sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was. It was. It was that combination, one way or the other. Yes. Yeah. 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 It was the, yeah, it might have been that one. I can't remember. Yeah, it's quite funny. So I've, so I've just put WrestleMania 32 into Google, and obviously the Wikipedia page is the first thing that comes up, and it says attendance, 101,763, in brackets, disputed. <laughs> 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 that says everything that you need to know about that. Yep. Right then. Okay, so you were both wrong on that one. So it does go down to the final question. Sonny, mm -hmm. you are one ahead. So, Finn, you still have a chance here. You still have a chance. My guest powers have come in. This is where the super guest powers come in. Yeah. yeah. Unless you know this one, which would make you a real mark. <laughs> Question number 15. Play the music. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was so, I was so focused, so on, focused on, on the question. He was doing so I was, well. He was just concentrating mm. so much. <laughs> right then. Question number 15. At just over 1.2 million buys, which WrestleMania has the most pay-per-view buys? Is it 26, 27, 28, or 29? Again, okay, not the one I thought it was. Uh. Pens down. Sonny. Um, again, complete guess. No idea. Uh, 26. Finn? Going for 28. Okay. The correct answer and tying the game at five all <laughs> wow. was 28. Finn, you are correct. It's one of the ones that was like sort of in the back of my mind telling me. What was the main why. event of that one? Was it one of the... Was it Cena? 
Cena, was it Cena with the Rock. Cena Rock one. That, yeah, that would make yeah, sense. That makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. Which would make sense for the pay per view vibes. And then it wasn't probably only a couple of years after that, wasn't it? That uh, obviously the network kicked in, so pay per view vibes were a bit of a bit of a non thing yeah. going forward. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So at the end of that, it is five all. Do you want to just verify that it is five all? Yeah, five, it's five all. Yep, yep. Five all. Good stuff. I was going to keep count until I dropped my pen and I can't no. find it anywhere. <laughs> right. So, sudden death question. Oof. 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 This is it. For all the marbles. Right. So, how, how, how do you want to do this, guys? Because it's going to be a, a nearest to the number thing. So, do you want to do it like we did last time? Yeah, might as well. Places one to the right answer wins. The thing is, lower or higher is slightly unfair, oh, that isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I mm. think so as well. It's a good point. So why don't we just write the number down, you tell us the answer, and then we show you what we've got. Yeah. Yeah, we'll play, play the ones to write answer wins, I reckon. Okay. Yeah. Well, just, yeah, just do, do it. Write it down, reveal it, and I'll tell you which one's right. Yeah. yeah. Which one's closest, yeah. Cool. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully you're not within the same. <laughs> yeah, that'd be difficult. We're both by well, it'd be, it'd be the lower one would win, wouldn't it? But anyway, we'll carry on. Right, sudden death question then. Cool. Here we go. Once again, soundboard not up. There we go. <laughs> so, in 2017, Forbes magazine estimated that as a standalone sports brand, WrestleMania is worth how much? Oh, Jesus. To narrow it down for you, it is more than 170 million, less than 220 million. I'm glad you said that because I was going to go way higher. <laughs> what were you going to go for? I was going to go like at least 500 mil. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to go higher as well. <laughs> okay. Sonny, what did you go for? 202, to be very, very specific. I don't know why. But there's, there's my answer, I've written it down. Finn, what have you gone for? We are very close, so I'm slap bang in the middle, 200 mil. So, 202 and 200. Just doing it in one mil. <laughs> the correct answer... Imagine if it is. <laughs> <laughs> You'd see the look of panic on my face now. <laughs> the correct answer is 195 million dollars. Wow. The winner and taking a 3-0 lead in the eliminator, Finn <laughs> Steele. Undefeated. Oh man. Unbeatable. Like, Champion. In. Best in the world. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. Well, I came right that down was, to the wire that. That's that like, pulled it back the last two questions. Phew. Jesus. <laughs> Sorry, Sonny. Just kidding. Sonny, how are you feeling? The thing is, it's not even surprising at this point, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Just fucking guess your way to victory every time. <laughs> Uh, I, I do move. feel like there's no way back for me because I just just can't get it right. You it's still just can't it's, get it. You can still do it. Just remember, I got there's one round where I got every single question wrong. <laughs> to be honest, it's still the doable. the higher or lower rounds when it went to sudden death the first time, I'm calling bullshit on because <laughs> that is not fair. But it's fine and it is what it is because I accepted okay. the terms. But um, <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. Okay. Okay. Congratulations, wow. Finn. Thank you. Thank you. Talk I'm, in shock. I'm in shock. Thank you. I'm in shock. I'm glad to me. That's me in the crowd. Hard questions again, though. It was. Yeah. But I think it's, it's good hard. We like a hard wait. That's <laughs> what <laughs> <laughs> she said. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> okay. There's still plenty to play for. You know, Best of nine, so you know there's time to bring it back. Yeah, you'll be over in fucking two rounds. 
Nonsense. I'm sure it won't. I'm sure it won't. I'm, I'm, sure looking, forward, be fine. I'm looking forward to being a quiz master someday. I've got some good ideas in my brain. Mm. Mm. Okay. Well, if anything, right. you've learned something. Yeah, I've done, yeah. Some, I've done some good learning. Yeah, it's been great. Good stuff. It's good. It's yes, good it's been good. Um, yeah. So Finn has taken a 3-0 lead in the Eliminator um, and is well on course for a, a second victory. But mm. um, it is still all to play for. It is best of nine. Um, we will be back. Not this. We're not. There's no regular podcast episode this week. No. So there'll be the week. Uh, so it'll be next week, basically. So because we're doing the pre-show stuff uh, for both NXT and WrestleMania um, and this, we decided to sort of, we, we deserved a week off doing a regular podcast. Yes. Uh, so we're going to be doing it next week instead. So uh, be sure to join Ooh. us for the next round of the Eliminator and all the WrestleMania stuff that uh, that we can possibly cram into one episode of the podcast. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Everything. Yeah, that's going to be fun. Yeah, block is... out block out four hours <laughs> of your uh, of your lives to listen to that one. But yep. um, yeah, yeah this has been a WrestleMania special of the Games and Graps Eliminator and it's been good I hope you guys have learned something I most certainly have yes me too yeah and I've also worked out that Finn is the world's luckiest guesser pretty much doing the lottery this week that's it yeah definitely Definitely. do the lottery definitely do the lottery (laughs) but um, yeah thank you very much for listening my name's Sonny and I've been with Finn Steele thanks so much and Steve see you later and we will see you next week for an official episode of the podcast but if you come to our pre-shows we'll see you then as well but take it easy guys goodbye thanks so much goodbye bye I win we'll keep our clothes on this time as well